Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome to the So Essential vlog. I'm here today to talk to you about my latest make. So I've got three things to show you. I'm really pleased with all of them. As usual, I'll talk about the patterns, the fabrics, the construction techniques, any adjustments that I made, and just my general overall feelings and thoughts about them. As usual, all the patterns and the fabrics I mentioned today are available on our site and the link to our sites below. But before I get started, I also just wanted to mention that we thought about doing a Q&A session. So if you've got any questions that you would like to ask me, it could be about anything really um, to do with sewing or dressmaking or, you know, the sorts of topics we talk about on the channel, just pop a question in the comments below and we'll proceed to collect them and gather them and answer them in a forthcoming vlog. So yeah, just putting that out there to anybody who wants to engage a little bit more, um, just leave some questions below and we'll be happy to take those on board and put together a Q&A session for you in the coming weeks. So let's get started then. The first thing I want to show you today is this lovely wrap dress that I'm wearing. So this is Simplicity 8735. So it's a wrap dress that was released, I think last year by Simplicity, and I'm absolutely thrilled with it. I made it in our viscose fabric. So it's got beautiful fluidity and movement and drape, and it's perfect for spring, summer. It's a lovely, breathable fabric made from natural fibers. I think it works really well for this dress. Um, it's like a sort of, it's got like almost like a slub to it, the fabric has. Um, it's almost like a raw silk type of feel. I just really like that tech, that almost sort of texture of it. Um, it was lovely to work with as well. And um, I must admit, what a couple of tips I would say if you're working with this fabric. Um, first of all, I didn't cut my um, pieces on the fold. I cut pieces on the fold and I didn't cut them on a single layer because I thought, because of the texture of the fabric, I thought, oh, it's not really slippery and silky like a crepe de chine. It'll be fine to cut on the fold. And actually what I found was because of the fluidity and the movement, I would have been better cutting those pieces on a single layer. And I did actually have to cut the back bodice piece out a second time because it was so off and uh, skewed so that's a little tip but in terms of sewing with it I was really pleasantly surprised it was so easy to work with and um, one of the things that I chose to do was to top stitch down the edge of the um, bodice to hold the facing in place um, I did like a quarter inch top stitch which then matched it with the quarter inch top stitch that runs down the front of the skirt as well to finish those edges and I thought with a fabric like viscose, you might get that sort of puckering and twisting of the fabric as you sew, but it was really, really well behaved. It, it sort of just ran beautifully under the sewing machine. Um, there was none of that happening. And I did use my quarter inch foot, which I always like to do on those sorts of tasks, because I think because you've got more contact um, with the fabric with that foot um, I think it does kind of take better control of it um, but yeah it was really a pleasure to sew with it was it was lovely um, I overlocked the raw edges and then pressed them under and stitched them down in place um, on the front edge of the skirt and on the hems as well rather than doing a narrow hem which the pattern suggested um, because I just think a narrow hem when you press it under and then press it under again it just adds unnecessary bulk um, so instead I just overlocked the edge I'll show you and um, and then just put, press that under and stitched it down in place and I think that works really well um, the pattern a few things I want to say about the pattern um, it comes with cup sizes, so this is, I think, the first pattern that I've made that comes with cup sizes, and um, I was really, really pleased with the fit of the pattern, and I think that was to, down to the fact that it had the cup sizes. I'm small busted, so um, I made the smallest cup size, which was a B cup, um, and I just think the fit of the bodice is really, really good, really flattering. Um, I cut a straight size 12, I think I could possibly have got away with a 10 on the top, maybe, but then I sometimes think you can overfit and actually 
it's nice to have a little bit of movement um, and a li little bit of ease in your garments for comfort and I think you know overall I'm really really pleased with the fit of it um, I chose this three four different views so there are three knee length and a midi length and I chose to make the midi length because I haven't jumped on the midi length bandwagon yet and I always do this obviously this trend's been around for a while now a few years and um, I've just sort of sat cautiously watching other people engage with it and um, you know finally decided to bite the bullet and have a go with the midi length and I'm really really pleased I absolutely love it it just feels so elegant it feels really easy to wear um, my plan is to wear it with ankle boots on the colder days and then to wear it with um, even trainers or sandals on the warmer days and I think you can dress it up or dress it down which is great again so I think it will be a very well-worn item in my wardrobe um, in terms of the fit, the other thing I should mention is last week I did a tutorial on how to add a shoulder dart to give extra ease at the back um, and I did that on this dress and hopefully you can see that the fit across the back is excellent. This is probably the most comfortable woven garment I've ever ever had in my entire life. I normally feel a bit of pulling across the back here because I've got protruding shoulder blades but putting that shoulder dart in has just given me that extra room and that extra comfort. Um, so if you've got protruding shoulders or a rounded back, um, there is a tutorial that I did last week on how to insert a shoulder dart to give you that extra ease and, and improve the fit in that area. And I just think it looks a lot better as well. I think it's a lot more flattering the way it fits across my back. It's not highlighting those shoulder blades. So I'm very, very pleased with that. Um, I also made my usual adjustments of a high round back and a forward shoulder and I did those first um, and then I added the shoulder dart. Um, the dress I chose to make the midi length option as I said um, which it, on the pattern they suggest making that with the long sleeves but I decided to make the short sleeves just because the time of year um, and also because this is quite a busy print I thought it would be nice to have the short sleeves just to break it up a bit. Um, the one other thing I should say about the pattern as well, the neckline, very, very pleased with that because as we all know, wrap dresses have a habit of being cut incredibly low and you have to fiddle about or wear a cami top underneath if you stick to the um, the original pattern normally. But I felt that this one was really, really good. I felt like it was not too high, um, but yeah, just not too low either. It's just the perfect sort of height really. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for the pattern. I mean, in terms of construction, it was dead easy, dead simple. The neckline is just finished with the facing. Um, the, sh the sleeves went in nice and easily. Um, they're, they're really, I mean, there's no sort of, <laughs> the fastening is the, the tie. So I chose to do the tie from uh, one of the other views as well, because the midi length dress, I think it suggests like, um, like a buckle type thing for you to loop the wraps through but I just wanted the normal traditional wrap um, so that was easy to do and then there is a prested fastening here to hold it together in the right place um, but obviously you just hand sew that snap on um, and that was it really it was dead simple to make dead easy to make thrilled with the fit, thrilled with the cut of the neckline, um, thrilled with the fabric. So yeah, I think I shall be wearing this an awful lot in the coming months. So the next two items I want to show you are a Lark Tea by Grainline Studios, which I've paired with a Simplicity 1370 skirt. So I made the t-shirt in a John Caldor Cadiz fabric, which is absolutely beautiful quality, comes in a range of colours, washes and wears brilliantly as you would expect. And I'm sure I'll be getting a huge amount of wear out of this t-shirt because it's just a classic wardrobe staple. And then the skirt I made from our lovely leopard print scuba. 
um, and I inserted an exposed zip at the back just for a little bit of added interest but I just thought this outfit was really on trend um, obviously leopard print is massive this season again the whole beige sort of neutrally creamy colorway is very in as well I've got the option to pair this with trainers and a leather jacket for a casual day look but I could dress the skirt up with strappy shoes and a nice top um, I could even wear like I thought a black sweatshirt with it as well and then ankle boots so there's loads of different possibilities I think it'll take me through the seasons nicely I can wear it winter spring and autumn um, and even in the summer in the UK let's face it you know um, so yeah both of these worked out really well they were nice quick simple easy makes but things that I think I'll wear time and time again the Lark t-shirt I made a size 4, um, I did whip up a quick twirl and I found that the shoulder seams were incredibly short on it on me and I find this quite a lot on indie patterns and when that happens the garment sort of pulls towards your neck which pulls under the arm and you end up with fabric bunching up there. Um, so what I did was I extended the shoulder seam out I added on a bit at, at the armhole curve there at the back as well because it was very scant across my back as well and I took a little bit off at the front because I'm actually narrower there and that's just really from having this sort of hunched upper back that I've got um, it sort of means you're narrower there and wider at the back um, and I'm really pleased with how that worked out um, it fits really well, it's comfortable. I did my usual high round back adjustment and forward shoulder adjustment as well. Um, the construction was dead simple. I made the whole thing on my overlocker and cover stitch machine. Um, yeah, nothing really to say. I used our stretch interfacing on the neck band, which I highly recommend because it just gives you that stability and will prevent your neck band and, uh, from stretching out and your neckline from stretching out. I cover stitched the neckband down just for a nice professional finish and cover stitch the hems um, and yeah it was just a really fun quick easy make I'm really glad that I took the time to make a quick twirl and get the fit right because um, it does feel very comfortable it's nice to have a t-shirt that fits me properly um, I'll just untuck it so that you can see what the length's like now I did shave quite a bit off the length I probably took I think a good couple of inches off the length I'm five foot six I'm not a particularly short bodied person so it, I think it is quite a long t-shirt and the reason I shortened it is I knew most of the time I'd want to be tucking it into things and I didn't want extra bulk around here um, but yeah that's the lark and then the scuba um, skirt is Simplicity 1370 which is an old classic for me I've made it quite a few times um, I think I made a size 12 and then probably ended up taking it in a bit because it is a scuba fabric so it's got a bit of stretch um, but again a nice dead simple quick easy make something I wear lots and lots I used a stretch needle with the scuba um, and that's all there is to say really there's a tutorial on the expo zip um, how to do that on our blog it's not as complicated as you might think so it's worth having a look at that if you're interested but yeah really pleased with this outfit and think I will be wearing it an awful lot so that's all from me today guys I hope you've enjoyed it I'm already planning what I'm going to be making next month to share with you just remember we'll be doing a Q&A session so if you've got any questions you'd like to ask pop them in the comments below. As always if you like what you see please like and subscribe. Our links to our website and our blog are also below and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.